spotted one, guys. Not letting him get away. Who's big fella crossing the road? Look at the size of him. <laughs> oh, he's cranky too. He's huge. Look at the size of the head. See if he'll turn around so we don't have the shadow. Look at that. What a beast. He is massive. You don't realize how big these guys get. Come on, give us a show. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully the GoPro footage isn't too blurry. He is stunning. Look at that, making sure he keeps an eye on me. We have redemption for the one two days ago that wanted to run away from me. And he's an absolute stonker. He's a beast. I am over the moon to find one of these guys in the wild. It's my last day, I was starting to lose hope. And how's the tracks on him? Actually, so stoked! I've got to give this guy a kiss before he goes. I've got to do it without getting my lips bit off. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Didn't like that. We'll send him on his way safely across the road. Look at him! Absolute weapon. Right, off you go, big fella. Go on. That's the way you're going. Keep going. How cool was that? Still eyeing me off. Keep going, dude. Absolutely massive tick off my list. I'd absolutely die for a Tristus, but I want a Sandy as well. Give me any Varanid, give me a Lacey out here. And Central Netted's another massive one. The day started good. Let's see if it continues that way. I should have filmed it, but he's just ducked into a burrow here. A big burrow on the side of the banking, on the side of the road, on the back side of it. Holy crap, it's a big burrow too, if I can get in there. Ugh. How's that? Makes you wonder how many of these you've driven past. Hopefully you can see him. What a perfect burrow. That is wicked. <laughs> What a sight. How cool. How's that, eh? Utilising the back edge of this bank built up by the grader. So up here, you wouldn't even know. He's got his burrow there. So he was heading back from across over here. So he's gone over there, forage, find some food, whatnot. And I've just caught him coming back across the road, trying to scurry in. We got another little burrow here. That could be something like a central netted. All the different species, the beardies, the central netteds. I don't know if they're earless dragons. So they're all using the back end, the back edge of this banking. How bloody cool was that, eh? Finally redemption. Got my first shingle back. Probably a little sad, but anyway. Um, when I'm out, I also like to look around, see the scenery. I've hit the foot. I'm just going up to a, I think there's a lookout up here. It's called the Little Mountain Bushwalk or 
little mountain track or something like that. There's a lot of, lot of old logs and where I might find something else along the way. Also need a bit of exercise. They really sell the idea of calling it a little mountain. I guess it's still a mountain. Joyce. We made it. Pretty sure that's Mount Gundabooka. I think you can climb that one. Let's save that for another day. sandy so here we go got our first sandy i'm just getting a clip on my phone because i know he's gonna bail as soon as i get out of the car and you won't see him with the gopro it's just steer. i've just filmed the clip with my iphone first so i'm probably gonna have to put that in rather than this see how close we can get but i guarantee he's gonna bail you'll get to see why they're called the racehorse going up I've got no idea how people catch them. I don't even attempt to, they're just way too quick. But we got our first veranda for the trip, so over the moon with that, got bloody goosebumps. So that was what we wanted today. We got a veranda, we got a shingle back. We're just missing our central netted. God, if we get the trifecta that I really wanted, that would be amazing. Golden target would be Tristus, but my hopes weren't very high for that. Now we've had one Sandy, I'm confident for more. So this is the trail where I found heaps of beardies the first day. So that's why I decided to come back down here because it's now five o'clock in the afternoon. I've been driving all day and found nothing but the shingle back. This guy gives me hope. Let's keep going. Got our first beardy for the day. If he hasn't bailed by the time I get over here. the day before I head back into town for a feed. I just wanted to revisit this rocky outcrop area. It's the afternoon, some snakes might be coming out to get that afternoon sun and above all there's a sign saying watch out for snakes about every five minutes. Five minutes, five meters and surely that means it's promising but my luck I won't get anything. We'll give it a crack anyway. Riverbed. I had to cross not yesterday, the day before, to get to the Aboriginal area. This is just a bit further up. Been trudging around for an hour, no luck as usual. The only thing I managed to come across was a big herd of goats that just wouldn't stop yelling at me. Completely ruined the piece, but anyway, gonna head back into town, grab a feed, freshen up, and we'll have another crack tonight. This road is the gift that keeps on giving. Another central beardy, he'll bail as soon as I open the door. Or maybe he'll freeze. Of 
in one. <laughs> We've got another Sandy here. This one's a lot smaller. They seem to be more scared of me than the car. So I'll see if I can get closer with the car. Seriously cannot get over the colors on these guys. The yellows are popping over the tail. This guy's probably not gonna let me get much closer. So this is gonna be it. the roo body off the road again just to stop any other scavengers getting hit oh look up here and it's heads here like what is going on why is everything being decapitated the body's down there it's gruesome you don't want to see it but yeah if you're out in the bush if you're out anywhere and there's wildlife on the road dead wildlife always clean it off and You'll save the lives of raptors, other scavengers, monitors, bloody, just anything. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just back out here. I went for a drive to a couple different places, but there was no luck whatsoever. So I've come back to the road where I found the curl snake last night. Still no luck. Just a few green tree frogs and a couple of the same species of gecko that was here last night. I don't know how people go out and get three four five snakes in a night i only ever get one or none hopefully tonight we get one we'll keep plotting along for another hour or so i don't want to stay out too late tonight because we've got the big drive back home tomorrow wish me luck Every time I bend over. Yee They're getting retired after tonight, I reckon. There we go. There's some scary sounds in the distance. Anyway, we got one. What do we got? Another curl snake. Same as last night. And I do not mind. He's a chonky boy. He's, he's probably an extra quarter on the one from last night. Such a beautiful little snake. Look at that different colored head. night of the trip on a good note sucks too because i was actually i'd given up and i was on the way back to the hotel and then i find that going it makes me want to stay out longer but i do have to get back so i can get a sleep for the long drive back home tomorrow but i mean there's a couple k's back to the room so we could get lucky but i got a feeling this is going to be our last guy for the night and i'm not complaining Packing up. I'll bring these bad boys home. Pleasure to wash them one last time. These beardies are dead set peppering the roads. Go! 
wish he'd run off like that when the car come past. It's about the, I think that's the sixth one I've seen on the road. to film an ending clip up there. Don't know how the hell I'll get up there. Why do I do this? Oh! Fucking slippery. I not beat the rock faces in the Blue Mountains though. Let's keep going. Work it was that. Look at how this has been carved out by the wind. That is cool. As you can see, the scenery is a little different. I've been driving about seven and a half hours now. I'm about an hour out of home. You can see the climate's a little different. Just pulled over at a spot I found last time I was away just to empty the tank and stretch the legs a little bit. The butt's getting a bit sore sitting down for so long. What a spot to do it, eh? How's that?